Let's find out which one's better, the Airbus A350 or the Boeing 787. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be comparing and contrasting the two most modern and efficient aircraft flying in our skies, these being the Airbus A350 and the Boeing 787. I'll be stating some facts and figures along with screenshots to back my evidence. Enjoy. Let's start off with the 787. This aircraft was brought into service by the Japanese airline of ANA on the 26th of October 2011. It has since been arguably the most popular long haul aircraft, accumulating close to 1,300 aircraft orders and over 600 deliveries in a reasonably short time. The 787, also known as the Dreamliner, comes in three variants. The Dash 8, which has the longest range and smallest capacity, the Dash 9, which is in between the two, and finally the Dash 10, which has the highest capacity and lowest range. The Airbus A350, on the other hand, had its first flight on the 14th of June 2013, with its first delivery to Qatar Airways on the 15th of January 2015. While the A350 hasn't been as successful as the 787, it still gathered 854 orders in its time. This aircraft had a planned three variants, being the Dash 800, Dash 900 and Dash 1000, of which the Dash 800 was cancelled after receiving only 8 orders. The Dash 900 is by far the most popular after receiving close to 700 orders. The Dash 900 also has the best range and efficiency which sets it apart from its big brother. Comparing the Dreamliner's impressive order book of 1294 as to Airbus's 854, it makes us wonder the reason behind this and poses the question of is the A350 any good and why is there such a difference of popularity? These reasons may explain. First of all, the list prices have a huge difference in them. While Boeing 787-8 costs just shy of 240 million, Airbus's 350-900 costs a hefty 317 million. That's a big price difference when it comes to aircraft, one that can immediately put customers off. That hefty price gap is mainly because of the extra things the A350 is capable of. It has bigger cabin bins, a quieter cabin, a wider cabin, the highest cabin roof of any plane and arguably the most comfortable one. It also has the furthest range, largest capacity and lowest maintenance costs. This favours many airlines and that is the reason some are prepared to pay more for this product. Another advantage is for its pilots and the similarity to the A330 and A340 cockpit which reduces training time. So I guess some of these reasons justify the price difference. But does it really justify $50 million worth of difference? The price is just one consideration airlines make. They also look at safety. These two wide bodies are one of the safest in the skies right now. However, the Dreamliner has had a rough history of lithium ion batteries catching fire, posing a fatal risk in the air. In 2013, all 787s in service were grounded due to a recall of these dangerous batteries. More recently, that some 787s installed with the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines have also had issues with the corrosion of key components within the engines, causing a shortage of Trent 1000 engines and a pricey recall. Many airlines were affected, with the most recent being Air New Zealand. In contrast to this, the A350 has been fairly okay, but with only minor issues. So now we've covered price and safety, the two main things airlines are concerned about when making a purchase. If you look at these screenshots comparing the two aircraft, we can see some other differences. The A350 has a larger wingspan at 64 meters, where the 787 has a wingspan of 60. The 350 also has more cargo capacity, faster speed and more thrust power. You can see for yourself the differences in these two competing aircraft. So to finally conclude my mini comparison, these are both great aircraft and have many details that set them apart, yet still make a very good competition with each other. My personal favourite is the Airbus A350, but I do like the 787 very much as well. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe and check out these videos if you want. See you soon.